Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing this review. We've got the XT11 GT on your right and the OrthoTorch T20. It's gonna be a head-to-head -head competition to see which one's better. We're gonna look at specs, we're gonna look at design and build quality features, ergonomics, loom test in the field, and what comes in the box. So we're gonna go over the what you get inside the box. It's got the, this is like a battery charger, a sticker if you're into that. Comes with a spare set of O-rings, a manual, a warranty, that's good. Comes with a nice pouch, pretty skinny. If I'm comparing pouches, I prefer the Claris, but uh, it's, it's good enough. It's, you know, you can put this in your duty belt and you're not gonna have to worry about it uh, coming out or anything like that. That's how it looks. Snap here easy to put on your duty belt. You don't have to take everything off your duty belt, your clip and your retaining rings and all that, and all your stuff that's in front of it. You just wrap this around and there you go. Unlike the Claris, this comes with an actual case. Can't forget, it comes with the, uh, the battery charger. So one can charge while using the other one. That's always a good thing. The Claris comes with a box like this. I ordered this from eBay. It came recommended by my friend Zaldi. Zaldi's a great dude. He's been a huge asset to me and growing my channel. And this was his recommendation. And I looked at it, okay, I like the specs, sounds good. He's like, oh wait a minute, I found an Urban Camo. And I was like, click, sold, that's all I need to hear. Anything that comes in Urban Camo, Urban DC, uh, it's, it's meant to be. It's a match made in heaven. So this is the box. Yep. I opened this thing like an animal. It doesn't didn't come like this. Comes with a nice pouch. I prefer this pouch because the Velcro is a bit wider compared to the T20 pouch. It's a little bit more narrow. I found that it to be uh, more catchy. Even though this one is longer, this one is wider, and I feel like it's easier to locate where the Velcro is. And I just prefer that one, especially if it's on a duty belt. I could be a corrections officer like I used to be. I really, I know my pouches. <laughs> This one, it does not have a snap, but it does have this kind of weird, confusing system where it used to come off. I guess if you're in a hurry, you gotta put it on. You can just throw it on. But if you want it, the most secure option, you've gotta take all your stuff off the duty belt, slide the belt through here, and then like so. But if we're just looking at packaging overall, this is the no brain winner here. If you're just chasing pure lumen output, this is the one to choose. I choose this one because in the city I need higher lumen output and the optional bezel ring here that I really like. In the city, at nighttime, my eyes aren't really set to like zero light. Like if you're out in the field, you kind of get night vision. In the city, you're not gonna have that. Where in the field or something like that, you're gonna have night vision set in, so you're not gonna need turbo mode all the time. High mode will be sufficient, and high mode on this is quite a bit longer battery life. But for me in the city, I like to have the bezel, the higher lumen output for the strobe. It's pretty much what it comes down to. When you pick up the Claris, it's immediately obvious that this is a well-machined piece of kit. It's got a nice heft to it, it's sturdy, it's got a nice compact feel to it. Everything seems like it was just paid attention to. There's a lot of detail in this thing. You can tell that the creator really cared about this thing. The engineers must have given a damn. Uh, not to say that didn't happen here, but it's, it's obvious here. And it comes with the, the optional camo. I think the camo's a few bucks more. They did say that this camo pattern is actually unique to each flashlight. So when you get this camo pattern, yours is one of a kind. The Orca Torch is well designed as well. I really like their approach. It's got a wider head. That's something you'll notice right away when you pick it up. It's got a different uh, kind of design and look to it. It feels real solid. One thing I will note is that the bezel ring, it does not come off in this. This one, you can. This comes right off. Bang. You can put this thing on here. It comes with a stock one. The stock looks just like this one. However, it doesn't take much to knock this thing loose. That's where I like, you know, reliability wise, I like this one. I know this strike plate isn't gonna come off anytime soon. Uh, it's just, it can't come off. So that's a great thing. That's one of the flaws with the Claris. The Orca Torch does have, it is prone to scratching. See right there, the bare metal, that's from me taking off <coughs> this uh, pocket clip and then putting it back on, it scratches right off. As I put it on, it just it scratches. 
It kind of annoys me. I don't have that problem here. As you can see, I'll take this off and on. No scratches. That's the way it should be. Curved at the end, so it slips right on without a jagged edge. Look at that, it's just, it's asking to scratch whatever it puts on. And that's kind of a oversight in my opinion. The fact that Claris noticed that the quality control picked, it up, picked up on that. So I respect that. So if I had to pick a winner, which would I choose? I'm gonna go with the Claris. It feels like it's got a better overall design and it doesn't scratch, which I like. I love the Urban Camo. It just feels good, it's compact. The head isn't as wide as, as this one. So yeah, winner Claris. So one of my favorite parts about the Claris is the removable bezel. I really like that I can take this thing off and put it right back on. It gives you options and I always op like options. Options are always a good thing. It does come off pretty easily, so it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. As you can see, uh, it just takes a little bit of a little bit of force and it comes off. So if you're ever trying to attack somebody, I mean this thing could potentially come off during the attack. <clears throat> but you know, you screw it on tight enough and it, it, it's got a little bit of rigidity to it. You really gotta screw it on there tight. You're probably fine. Aside from the ability to attack people with it, it actually just looks cool and let's be honest, that's a lot of what EDC is, is looking cool. It was pretty funny, I was at work actually and I was talking to my buddies and I handed it to them and it wasn't two minutes until they were trying to stab each other with the thing. They were jamming it in their chest, trying to figure out who could take more pain and I mean, this thing is sharp. Like you can really feel this thing. Like it's, I mean, it's not gonna stab you like a knife, but man, that, you rake somebody in the temple right here. That thing hurts. That'll do some damage, especially since it's like an overhand motion. Yeah, that's it's a good tool. It's a great feature that that this thing has that the uh, T20 doesn't. Just had a would you rather? Would you rather have this thing raked into your shin meat and dragged all the way down to like where your ankle is, essentially flaying your leg meat, your shin meat, or would you rather have this thing jammed into your knee and then like hammered? And Either one's gonna screw you up, but I feel like the shin meat loss would be, wouldn't be as bad as the loss of a knee. So I kind of went with the, the former. If you got an opinion on that, just go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm kind of curious what other people do with that would you rather. Anyway, next feature. Another feature that this thing has is the rocker switch here. You can see it's, uh, they say it's patented. I don't know how much it means in China, but it's patented. And it kind of, you just press it. And depending on if it's off or on, it activates either a quick burst on. I usually just keep it programmed to be low. So I have a high beam and then I have a tap to activate low beam at nighttime. I like that setup, I like the option. So to use the Claris, you simply click it on here, you can adjust your mode here. On, off, tap to turn on real quick, momentary light, and then press and hold to turn on. And again, you can activate all different modes. You can actually just operate the entire thing with this clicker in the back. I just like that feature. Bang, it's on. This is immediate high. So yeah, I like this option. I like having it on there. And I kind of miss it when I pick up the T20. They say it's patented, but I have seen other flashlights with something similar. So if you like this feature, it is available in other flashlights. It exists out there, but this one's patented. Another feature I really, really like is the battery indicator here. As you turn it on, you can see it's green. When it's at like mid power, it'll be orange. And when it's low power, it'll go to red. And then when it's 10% or less, it'll start flashing red. Pretty useful. During my performance of this review and just using it day to day every now and then, <clears throat> at nighttime or whatever, it's coming handy. I can just quickly look at this thing and be like, oh, it's yellow, time to charge. And just plug this thing in via the USB port, the micro USB port on the side here. Yeah, I just plug it in there and away it goes. It just charges it, I put it on my desk. It just kind of takes care of itself. I know when to charge it and it's convenient to charge. This one also does feature three different modes, tactical and outdoors and an advanced tactical mode. I usually just leave it in outdoor mode. It works for me. It's funny because as cool as all the features are on the Claris, it's nice to come back to this thing and have life kind of simplified. This is a simpler light. If I had to hand a flashlight to somebody and I said, hey man, play with all the features, program it, set it up. I would instantly hand this thing to somebody else. If I'm handing this thing to like, somebody who's not a flashlight guru or tech guru, you know, mom or a wife or a child, um, and you just need a good flashlight that'll last a long time and it's safe, that's 
that's this light. This is, has a protective battery inside of it. The battery lasts quite a bit longer as we saw in the specs page. Even in like low mode, it'll last a long, long time. And talking about simpler features, again, off, adjust. There is no powering off or on with this, no matter how long you hold it. It just goes into strobe mode, do it again, and it goes in SOS mode. It's a more user-friendly flashlight. There's another feature that this thing has that I, I think is pretty cool. It's not something you really think of as being a feature until you need it, but this thing has the ability to, to stand up. It was by design. I can tell by the, the shape of the back here. You can see there, it's got a flat top there and oil there, so you can just put your finger in. But yeah, it does this. I mean, how cool is that? The Claris feels like it will, and it's real close to trying to stand up, but it just doesn't. It's kind of irritating, like it's, Please stand up. Like it just, it rolls on that bottom feeling. It's just a hair away from like, it's just a hair away from doing it. Yeah. So I think this is a pretty useful feature with the Orca torch because I can see uh, mechanics taking advantage of this, electricians going through crawl spaces, HVAC technicians will like that as well. Just convenient to have. It's. You can get by without it, of course, but I mean, come on, Claris, that's, <laughs> you've got a great flashlight that's missing that one little thing. And I can't imagine it would take too much uh, engineering skill to do that. And I was talking about earlier, it's got a much better battery life in it. It's a protected cell in here. So it's, it'll shut off if it gets overheated or anything like that, if it shorts. The Claris doesn't have it, and it could potentially overheat and cause some damage to the light, maybe even catch on fire. That hardly ever happens, but, but, you know, there's always that chance. And if you're at low tolerance for risk, uh, this is the flashlight to get. And on that same note, it actually does come with two batteries. The charging system. So this thing comes with uh, two batteries in it, which is really, it's really pretty cool because obviously you can use one and as that one goes down you can have the other one charging and vice versa. Uh, so I can see that it being an advantage depending on what you can use this thing for. I personally really prefer the USB charging. It's just, it's simpler. I've already got like six charges over there with maybe 15 or 20 batteries for all my camera gear and all my other video related stuff. <laughs> Moving on to ergonomics. This is well done on the Claris. It's got the it's got a nice knurling on there. As you can see, it's kind of a, like a diamond pattern. It feels good. It's machined in there and it feels sturdy. And that combined with the, as you can see, the, the heat dissipating grooves here, it kind of lands right where the thumb wants to be. So it adds to the grip. Uh, that combined with where your, your fingers are here, Got this nice grip here and then you've got this grip on the top and it feels real good i really like the ergos on this and while i like the light indicator the button click while it's nice and clicky it it's shallow it doesn't provide a whole lot of feedback like if you're wearing gloves i mean obviously it's a flashlight you're gonna know if it's off or on right but kind of locating it in the dark trying to feel where it is uh, without gloves or with gloves it, it's easy to pass over I would like to see it raised a little bit more. And I did pass this around to several of my friends at work. Universally, they all agree that they like the Claris better. They just said, I don't know, it just feels better. I like the way it feels. And you know, they're not expert reviewers and neither am I for flashlights. This is actually my first flashlight review. I've owned a lot of flashlights. Male, female, they all like this one. I kind of agree. And just comparing it to the T20, it's better. In our opinion, my opinion, whatever. Uh, that's a subjective thing, of course, but I like this. The ergonomics on this, uh, they're good. They're good. They're not bad. They're not great. They're good. The, the problem I have with the Claris is addressed here. As you can see, it's got a nice clicky button here. I really like the way that feels. Got a nice click to it and you can hear my microphone. One area where the Orca Torch excels would be heat dissipation. Because it's not as high lumens, it stays cooler longer this thing will get hotter quicker by about a factor of about around 10 degrees, depending on how long it's been on. These have been on for about 30 seconds. This is already at 114. 
So yeah, it gets quite a bit warmer. And you can feel it all the way through your hand. Well in use. And 10 degrees doesn't sound like it much, but it's real obvious. I don't particularly mind too much. But again, if I'm handing this to my wife or her mother or my mother or something, I would definitely choose Orca Torch because they probably will complain. It's on about two minutes. And I usually, this is usually where I see it kind of peaking. Yeah, you can see it's, you know, it's cooler. If I had to hand a flashlight over to somebody and know that they'll be okay with it, uh, ergonomically speaking, in their, you know, the, what's the demographic 24 to 50 year old male, I'm gonna hand them this because they're gonna have more fun with it. Uh, but if I'm handing this to somebody that's not an enthusiast of any kind, maybe not an EDC person, they're not into the, all the bells and whistles, they just want somebody to use, uh, I think I'm gonna hand them the Orca Torch. But yeah. <laughs> Under the loom test. This is a fun time. My wife and I, we went outside to the local park, like a community park. And this is right next to like a school. And they have a huge park and we're able to use that whenever we want. And I could tell right away that the Claris was a floodier light, had more throw, uh, illuminated more. And that's not to say that it trounced the T90. The T90 was just fine. Um, I think if you weren't comparing it to this thing, you'd be like, oh, this is a good light, this is fine. But once you put it up against this thing with the extra thousand lumens, with the extra thousand lumens, it's pretty clear that this is uh, gonna beat it. So if you're looking at these results here and you're watching this footage, for me, this is a tie. I really like both of these for separate reasons. But if you're in the city, your eyes are not gonna be the same as they would be in the woods. If you're in the field or something like that, if you're operating in a dark area, you can have your pupils will be dilated and you're gonna be you're gonna have nice vision at night. So you don't really need turbo mode in that instance. Your high mode is gonna be just fine. But if you're in a city, your eyes aren't gonna be as dilated. So your night vision will, won't be as good, so you're gonna need a brighter light. And I also like the fact that the brighter light will come in handy in a self-defense situation. If I had to strobe somebody, this is a brighter, more disruptive light. However, if I'm going camping, if I'm going out in the woods, going to the field, I know I'm gonna be there a long time, I'm gonna go with the Orca Torch. Spin this around. I'm gonna go with the Orca Torch because the battery life on this thing is incredible. It's gonna last a long time. It's not gonna get as bright, but like I said, at nighttime, you're gonna have moonlight vision. This high beam is gonna be sufficient. It's gonna last a long time. You've got two batteries to throw in your pack. You've got redundancy there. So not only does the battery last longer, but you got two of them. It, that's just kind of, you know, no-brainer in my opinion. So depending on if you see yourself doing a lot of outdoor stuff, this one, if you're not going to do a lot of outdoor stuff, you're on the house, Claris. So this is a tie. They're both great lights, but yeah. So we have to pick a winner. It's going to be the Claris. As you can tell by the video, it's been winning most of the categories by a hair. And we're talking about four star versus five star. Then you got to kind of factor in What's your budget? Are you looking for something that's, this is like 70 bucks, this is like 85, 90, depending on which variant you get. Like it's 85 for the all black and 90 for the urban. Uh, how, how much does that price matter to you? In my opinion, it does, it, it is worth it. I think the upgrades you get with this, it's worth it. It's worth the extra 20 bucks. Um, if you're a flashlight enthusiast, this is the one for you. It's got a lot more stuff you can get into. There's the three different modes. You can tinker with all that stuff so your heart's content. It's got a lot more buttons to press. It's got more advanced charging indicators, things like that. Uh, it's more customizable, the better ergonomics. Um, but if you're the kind of person that is buying this for a family, this is your household flashlight. You want to hand it off to your wife and kids, somebody who's not an enthusiast. This has an easier operation method. It simply just you turn on the back and adjust the mode here. This is easy as well, but um, this is. I mean, they're both 80 proof. Come on, let's be serious. They're flashlights, four star, five star. Um, it just feels like this one is going to be easier for people, especially if they, you know, they don't want to muck around with the menus and in order to take full advantage of the everything that comes with it. Uh, this is the one. 
but for flash license enthusiasts, tactical people, uh, law enforcement personnel, um, Glaris. But, but I gotta say um, another thing, this is probably a better solution if you're going to be using it for a couple of days on end. If you're going to the woods, you're going to the field, things like that. I would recommend the Orca Torch. It's got better battery life. It has uh, not as much lumen output, but like I said earlier in the video, if, you, uh, if you're outside at night, your night vision is going to kick in and you don't need turbo mode. Um, if you're an uh, electrician, a carpenter, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, if you're going to use this for work, I would recommend the Orca Torch. I would, because it's got the better battery life. It's gonna get you through eight hours, no problem during a day. If you're crawling around in crawl spaces, uh, it stands up on the end. And I think that'll be you know, a useful feature if you put it on the ground and you're working, it'll illuminate the whole room for you. So yeah. But overall winner, like I said, must be decisive here. It's a Claris, hands down. But Cavat is family outdoors, uh, blue collar work where you're just needing this thing. Uh, to accompany you and do its job that's a winner there but yeah i picked the claris even though it's sponsored by these guys they build a hub of flashlight as well they primarily do uh, dive flashlights they build a hub of light uh, it comes with a great travel kit you can't go wrong picking either one of these but if we are picking up splitting hairs here it's a claris so that's the review i kind of want to hear your opinion uh comment below i want to see if you think i'm wrong if you think i got something wrong uh, go ahead and tell me why this one sucks and why this one should have won. I want to know. I'm open to discussion. And that's the light going out. That means we're almost done. All right, guys. So this is the winner. And have a great day. See you next time. I'll be doing more for sure. All right, guys. Take care.